All one tri-state mother wanted was to have her son home for Christmas for the first time in more than 20 years. Her wish was granted when a federal judge ruled Dean Gillespie was wrongfully convicted and ordered his release last night from prison. Nine News anchor Brendan Keefe was there for the magic moment. Brendan? This television station was the first to ask questions about the rape convictions more than 12 years ago. Those stories by the I-Team eventually convinced the Innocence Project to take a closer look. And last night, a Christmas miracle. Dean Gillespie walked out of prison a free man. A free man after more than 20 years in prison. Dean Gillespie in his mother's arms for Christmas, literally dancing his way to freedom. <laughs> Where did this epic journey to freedom end? In a bowling alley of all places. That's where federal officers dropped him off, about a mile from the London Correctional Institution, on a dark, rainy night, right out of the movie Shawshank Redemption. They told me that I was possibly going to happen tomorrow, and I knew I wasn't sleeping tonight. Now I know I ain't sleeping. <laughs> There's no sleep in the forecast. Prison guards were bowling in their weekly league when Gillespie walked in, seeing them for the first time as a free man, once again presumed innocent. What moment did you say, I am no longer a prisoner? I'm not, I'm not a prisoner no more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no guard between you and your mom. There's nobody making sure you're not putting your arm around her. I just, look, I just seen one out here just a minute ago. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's going to take a while. Isn't it? There's no doubt. There's no doubt. It's a privilege to be an investigative reporter because you do have this giant spotlight that you can use to help change things. But uh, I don't think there's any story I've ever done that's had more of an impact on me personally. And this is definitely the best result ever. <laughs> of an investigative series. Thank you so much. Woo! You're out! Cincinnati City Council member Lori Quinlivan was there to welcome Gillespie to freedom because she was also there more than a dozen years ago, the first to point out troubling issues in his case that eventually led to his conviction being thrown out. People were calling and they would hand him the cell phone. He went in prison before cell phones, so he's holding it like this, shouting into it like it's a walkie-talkie. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use a cell phone yet. Back in Fairborn near Dayton, <laughs> Gillespie was welcomed home by the family and friends who never gave up on him. And Gillespie is home tonight with an electronic monitoring bracelet on his ankle. That may come off in the next week or so. Remember, he still faces appeals by the state and possible retrial from Montgomery County. There will be a hearing with the federal judge who released him to get that ankle bracelet off. He already has 12 job offers tonight, some from the old high school buddies who, have now, sex, who now have successful businesses, lives lived while he was in prison for two decades, Clyde. And he's got a lot of catching up to do. Brendan, mm -hmm. thanks for that report.